fixed brain is examined usually after three weeks of fixation. And as you can see, it is pretty firm. The first thing to address is the general appearance. Is the size and shape normal? So one has to look at the brain from the top, from the left, from the right. One also has to notice whether there is any focal evidence of uh, pathology, like an infarct or hemorrhage. The other thing to examine is the appearance of the leptomeninges, whether they are cloudy or thickened. One could have also a general idea as to whether the gyre or the forebrain are edematous or not. At this point, one turns the brain over and examines the base. Looking at the arteries, looking at the cranial nerves, the circle of Willis, to exclude the possible presence of an aneurysm. One then looks at the brainstem with its own vessels, the medulla, the cerebellum. A note is made at this point of any abnormality found before cutting. This is the fixed brain of a female aged 59 who was diagnosed as suffering from presenile dementia. If we can start the examination, frontal lobes, occipital lobes, we can see that a view from above shows quite clear widespread atrophy on the cortex. If we start from the frontal lobes, you can see that these gyra are very thin, almost knife-edged. And you can see that the leptomeninges covers a widened sulcus between the gyra. And this is repeated everywhere you look at the level of the frontal lobes. As you go further back, 